We're in the Green Swamp East in Sumter County. We're going to be doing some wetland assessments. My name is Mark Hurst. I'm a senior environmental scientist. I've been working with wetlands for about 30 years with the district. We're going to be determining the health of the condition of wetlands. We're going to be using a methodology called the Wetland Assessment Procedure. We call it WAP. This is Woodwardia Virginica. The Wetland Assessment Procedure looks at vegetation and how it changes or responds to changes in hydrology. In other words, how the vegetation changes in response to changes in water levels, both surface water and groundwater in the wetlands. We have a specific list of species, plant species, and we look at where those species are, how many there are, and what species there are. Here in Florida, we've got extensive wetlands. I would agree that there's more of it over here, so we're gonna, we'll bump it up to 40%. The purpose of this work is to make sure that the region's natural systems, specifically the wetlands, are protected, but at the same time, the public's water needs are met as well. Knowing the health of the wetland is fundamental for protecting the ecologic and the hydrologic functions of those wetlands. Next one is amphicarpum at 10. You can leave that at 10%, and then when we get back out there, we'll double check that. We're able to maintain this field work during the pandemic because we're in the outdoors, we're working in smaller teams, and we're trying to maintain our distance while we're out here in the field. We got a little bit of Sagittaria, which I had not noticed before. So this is important to me because I spend, personally, I spend a lot of time uh, in the outdoors, in the Green Swamp specifically, and I enjoy the, the beauty, the natural beauty here, and I want to see this preserved for my use as well as for future generations.